I am Dr. Mayur Parihar, so I am a senior consultant in lab hematology, molecular pathology and cytogenetics. Uh, I, I basically have two roles in this institute, one uh, as a service provider wherein we work in the labs and second I am also a researcher where I am a principal investigator. So most of my research is actually focused on characterizing the genomics of acute leukemia. So we've been working uh, to actually refine the genetic characteristics of acute leukemias and see how we could use this information uh, and translate it uh, into patient care and management. We actually started using, initially when we started our research, uh, we didn't, uh, we're looking for much larger copy number variations which were beyond uh, the resolution of sequencing. Now the informatic pipelines then were uh, good enough to identify these copy number abnormalities. So we started by using uh, high density arrays where uh, we could actually look at uh, larger copy number variations right from you know whole chromosomal genes to the copy number variations which involve deletions within the genes. We were also able to identify uh, copy neutral loss of heterozygosity, uh, identifying somatic uniparental isodiazomies in these tumors and that again is my uh, area of interest in research where I want to investigate how this uniparental isodiazomies actually alter the gene expression, give a survival advantage to tumor cells. Uh, we chose uh, microarrays for copy number variations rather than NGS uh, because at that point of time we were challenged uh, in terms of our informatics. The microarray, uh, the interface is pretty good. Uh, it's easy to analyze the data. Uh, the logistics or infrastructure required to analyze and store this data is much less. And the microarray gives you a lot more information. You could identify copy neutral loss of heterozygosity, you can identify fusions, and you can actually looking at the copy number variation data, also get an idea about the chronology of the events that happen in the process of oncogenesis. Yeah, so I mean applied uh, biosystem technology is, you know, I mean it covers, uh, it has a wide spectrum of uh, solutions and instruments and we've been using them right from the PCR machines to the Sanger sequencing and uh, in a lot of our day-to-day -day molecular work.